Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sridhar Maladi and in today's video, I am going to explain you about biodegradable plastics and synthesis properties and applications of polylactic acid. So before we discuss about the biodegradable plastics, first we will try to understand why the world is moving from plastics to bioplastics. So we will have a discussion about the plastic material. I hope that everybody knows what is this plastic material. Uh, a plastic material is any of a wide range of synthetic or semi-synthetic organic polymer. These plastics are important to a range of industries including aerospace, building and construction, electronics, packaging and transportation. But the continuous use of the plastic leads to the three major problems. First one is the plastic littering which disfigures the oceans and the coastlines. Second one is ingestion of plastic kills marine creatures. The third one is this plastic doesn't undergo degradation and lasts for many years and therefore increases the amount of solid waste. And because of these problems, we are shifting from plastics to bioplastics just to protect the environment. So what is this biodegradable plastics? So these biodegradable plastics or bioplastics are the plastics which are derived from renewable biomass sources such as vegetable fats and oils, cornstarch or microbiota. Microbiota is nothing but the microorganisms living in specific environment. So these biodegradable plastics decompose naturally in the environment. So this is achieved when microorganisms in the environment metabolize and break down the structure of the biodegradable plastic and this results in one which is less harmful to the environment than traditional plastics. Basically there are three different types of bioplastics. First one is starch based bioplastics, second one is cellulose based bioplastics and third one is aliphatic polyesters bioplastics and the examples for aliphatic polyester bioplastics are polylactic acid, polyhydroxy alkanate and polyhydroxy butyl. You can see the images here uh, which are the applications of the biodegradable plastics. These biodegradable plastics are having some advantages that is these bioplastics are non-toxic that means these are safe for medicinal and household uses they are eco-friendly and they will reduce the global warming and of course these biodegradable plastics are having disadvantages also the first disadvantage is the cost with respect to the cost the cost is high almost three times greater than compared to the normal or regular plastics and as the demand for this bioplastic increases uh, the cultivation of the crops increases and just to increase the yield of the crops the farmers will be using more fertilizers and pesticides which leads to the loss of the soil fertility these are the images of the bioplastics. You can see a carry bag and uh, it is written 180 days is all it takes for me to decompose. That is, it is a biodegradable carry bag and a plastic cup. So it is written, I am not a plastic cup. It is 100% biodegradable. Okay. So these are the images of the biodegradable plastics. And you can see this image uh, which is showing that the biodegradable plastic bottle will undergo degradation okay so this is day 1 day 28 day 38 day 58 and day 80 you can see that the biodegradable plastic has been completely undergone degradation so after understanding about the biodegradable plastics under this heading, 
we will be discussing about the synthesis properties and application of one of the bioplastic that is polylactic acid or polylactide. So what is this polylactic acid? It is also a biodegradable polymer. It is a bioactive thermoplastic aliphatic polyester which is derived from renewable sources such as cornstarch, cassava roots, starch or sugar cane. So polylactic acid was the second highest consumption volume of any bioplastic in the world in 2010. So it is also a very important biodegradable plastic and uh, how, how do you synthesize this plastic or polylactic acid? The synthetic procedure or the scheme of the synthesis is given here. So we are going to take the lactic acid, we are going to subject it for condensation Okay, so you are going to get a lactide and uh, the ring opening polymerization will give us the polylactic acid. And this image tells us the cycle of the polylactic acid in nature. From where it starts? It starts from here. From the photosynthesis, you are going to grow the crop. Okay, then you are going to extract the respective sources. It may be a corn or any vegetables. Then you are going to, you are going to extract starch from that. You are going to subject the starch for hydrolysis and fermentation. Then you are going to get a lactic acid. You subject it for polymerization. You are going to get a polylactic acid. You process that and you are going to end up with the end products. And these end products after the usage, you are going to throw it and it undergoes the biodegradation. And again, this is how the cycle repeats. So, what are the properties of these uh, polylactic acid? The first property, of course, it is biodegradable, and uh, this polylactic acid is soluble in chlorinated solvents, hot benzene, tetrahydrofuron, and dioxin. It is having the glass transition temperature of uh, 60 degrees Celsius and uh, the melting point of 130 to 180 degree. Celsius. Uh, so heat resistance polylactic acid can withstand temperature of 110 degree Celsius. So these are the important properties of the polylactic acid. So when you look into the applications, already in my second slide I have uh, shown you the applications of the biodegradable polymers. So this uh, polylactic acid uh, is used as a fused filament fabrication in 3D printers. And it's also used as a medicinal, uh, sorry, the medical implants in the form of anchors, screws, plates, pins, rods, and as a mesh. Apart from that, uh, it is used as a decomposable packaging material in the form of cups, bags, etc. And also, it is used in the woven shirts, microwave trays, hot fill applications, and even in engineering plastics. So, these are the important applications of the polylactic acid. So, I hope that you have understood about the biodegradable plastics, what are the importance of the biodegradable plastics, why we are, shifted, we are shifting from plastic to the biodegradable plastics and uh, you understood, I hope that you understood the synthesis properties and applications of the polylactic acid. Thanks for watching this video.